Hello, Dennis Sellers of Maximum News On Demand, here with news from the world of all things Apple for Monday, November the 5th, 2007. Relatively, it's been a pretty slow news day on the Apple front. Apple has uh, released new versions of QuickTime and iTunes, but otherwise, uh, the press and Mac users are still debating the pros and cons of Mac OS 10.5 Leopard, which was released on October the 26th and has sold over to a million copies so far. Uh, in other news, uh, big things are expected when the iPhone rolls out in the UK this Friday, November 10th, 29th. November the 9th, I mean. Up to 200,000 iPhones will be sold in Britain over Christmas and the New Year uh, periods, according to O2, the largest mobile operator in the UK. The communications device goes on sale, like I said, this Friday, and O2 will be the exclusive network for the handset. Uh, they say that the iPhone will be its largest selling, selling um, cell phone yet. Matthew Key, the CEO of O2's UK business, told the Financial Times that he expected a couple of hundred thousand iPhones to be sold in the first two months by Apple, O2, and Carphone Warehouse, uh, a mobile phone reseller. He added that O2 had ordered hundreds of thousands of iPhones from Apple for stores and online outlets run by O2 and Carphone Warehouse. Some analysts said that the 200,000 sales projection is actually conservative. Carolyn Milanese, an analyst at Gartner, a consultancy agency, told the Times that between 350,000 and 400,000 iPhones could be sold in the first two months they're on sale in the UK. You can read more about this and other uh, news items from the world of all things Apple at MaximumNews.com. That's all the news for the day. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, take care 